right, now we have made our way to the Sony area of uh, CES 2010. I don't think we can quite call this a booth because it's actually like an acre. It's absolutely huge. And you guys are showing off a lot of really interesting stuff. And of course, one of the huge buzzwords here this year is 3D. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Sony is doing in the 3D space? 3D. Sony's been involved from 3D from the start, especially in the capture and the display of it in theaters. Most everybody has been through one of the 7,000 installed 3D systems that Sony has in theaters now. Lots of 3Ds are at release, lots are coming. Everybody's having such a great time with these 3D movies in the theater, they want to bring that experience home. That's what we're announcing with this show. We're now, bringing that experience home to you. Now, how many different 3D models is Sony rolling out? Because it, it looks like this is ready to go. I mean, there, there are networks talking about rolling out 3D cable networks now. I mean. Is it this year that we are going to start watching 3D television in our homes? Is it, is it right now? Are we on top of it? We're very close. It'll be late spring, early summer when these will be hitting the streets and you'll be able to take them home. Now tell me a little bit uh, about the actual models that are back, the actual Sony models that are that are actually able to display these 3D images. What is, what's the technology that you guys are using to make this happen? Obviously you need to wear glasses in order to do it. Is it active, is it passive, is it different from what all the other guys have, or is it kind of all the same thing? Well, it's kind of the same, but it's uh, we pride ourselves on high quality imagery. So we chose the active system. That enables us to bring 1080p images to each eye. So to get the stereo effect of the 3D image, you have to have one image for your right eye, one image for your left eye. Because you can't physically blink that yourself and go as fast as you can, let the the glasses do the blinking for you, so you can sit back and relax and with no effort see a beautiful, high def, full HD, 1080p image to each eye. Because a lot of them, a lot of the people that are using the the, the passive glasses, like you're actually cutting the resolution in half when you sit down and watch it in 3D, and so your televisions are still giving you full 1080p resolution in 3D dimensions. Exactly. We're, we've got our. Uh, digital cinema systems that are uh, over four times HD resolution, which is how we're able to to project on the theater screens um, 3D images for which you only need the polarized glasses because we've got more than HD going to each eye. On the home system, it's a little bit different. We're limited by the uh, maximum pixels on the display itself, which is 1080p. So, like you said, we didn't want to give up half the resolution for a passive system. That's why we chose the active system to get full 1080p to each eye. I want glasses encrusted in jewels. Can you help me with that? I think there's going to be a great aftermarket once these things get rolling. Because I like the bling, sir. Mm, absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much for, uh, for for talking to me about it. It's it's good to learn about what Sony has going on in 3D because it's it's everywhere here, and uh, it's nice to see that Sony's making sure that you're bringing like the the highest quality you can find out there. So thank you very much. The 3D train's rolling and it's coming in. Appreciate it. We are here at the Sony booth. We're going to check out some more stuff here from Sony here in just a second at CES 2010.